Hi, I'm Sarah Stonecipher from HowToRunARetailStore.com, and on this channel, we're gonna tell you all the ways you can make the most money from your brick and mortar space. Today, we are going to talk about all of my favorite accessory lines. If you haven't seen my video on handmade accessories and why it is one of the best hacks you could possibly bring into your store. You can watch that here. But today we're gonna go through individual actual lines. I'm gonna link them all below and tell you why I love them and why they do so well inside of my shop. Have you ever dreamed of opening your own clothing store? Would you love to be a larger part of your local community? Or maybe you already have an online shop but wanna take the leap into a physical location. Well, join me as I pull back the curtain on all things brick and mortar. And don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on how to grow and thrive in your own retail storefront. The first one is Folklore Couture. This line is so awesome because it, again, just like what I'm looking for, has this great story behind it. Do you see these colors, y'all? These are all made from recycled leather. So leather remnants that they get from factories. Every single piece is completely different. I cannot tell you how many people, even people who are like, no, I'm vegan. I don't want to support leather. They still buy this because it's things that would be thrown away otherwise. So it's eco-friendly. They're all super fun and interesting. And they each come with a great story on it. We have some items in my store that don't come with this and I'll even make my own and throw it on there just so that people can see it clearly that there is a great story behind it and also they always make for great gifts. Second line is going to be Good Mood Candles. This is a huge seller for us because it's locally made but look at this branding. Isn't it beautiful? We always love to do features on our makers so that our customers can see that it's an actual person and they can also see where it's made. I love this line because she was a former graphic designer so it's absolutely beautifully branded, but what sets this apart from the national brands is that it is local. So I highly recommend bringing in a great local candle company. If you don't know where to start, get on Instagram, go to some of your local markets or even get on Etsy and you can search Etsy by zip code, by region, and then you can look through some of the brands on there, Instagram them, I did this last week, I do it all the time, Instagram them and ask if they wholesale. Our third line is one called Anju, but there's also another brand, World Finds, that will carry this similar style. What I love about this is that it's very funky, very anthropology-esque, and hits a lot of different age ranges. You can see that each one is super different. That's because they're made out of recycled saris and wood scraps from furniture. And it's a fair trade line out of India. And so it has a really great story behind it. There's a story on each individual tag. It comes with great um, table displays that tell the entire story. So like I said, lean into these ideas that people want to feel good about what they're buying these days. The more of a story you can tell, the more your customer will connect. Our fourth line is one called Salt Light, and it's another one of our local lines, but she is the most popular local jewelry artist in our area. So people come in specifically to find her stuff. What I love about it is she uses tons of locally sourced items. We're in a beach town, so shells and sea glass. It really has a great local vibe, but at the same time, because she has such a huge following, you get that balance of high quality, beautiful, one of a kind pieces, but something that is connected to our local economy. So you can see, Love it here. She does all sorts of hand painted items, all sorts of different necklaces and earrings. And I'm telling you, if you do not have at least one local jewelry artist, you need to get on that today because they're kind of gonna start promoting your store as you are promoting them and they will drive traffic to your store as well as resonating with your customers. Then let's move over here. 
clay earrings. If you haven't caught on the bandwagon, these are the biggest things going. And even big companies are now trying to replicate this. But what I love about clay earrings is that to set yourself apart, what do you think we should do? Carry local. Because all sorts of big companies are now trying to knock that off, how do you set it apart? By carrying something local that is totally one of a kind, totally handmade, and we sell through these so quickly that every two weeks I can call up my girl and say, hey, can you stop by? And she just brings in these huge trays. I can hand pick them all. It is so awesome and once again, really resonates with our customers. They did so well that we actually have a second line. You can see how different these are, right? These are all super neon, poppy, colorful, and this is my more neutral line. That way I'm getting both customers. This is actually a line that is not local, but the girls who created it grew up here. They're away at college. This is a great way for them to pay for some of their college expenses. So it kind of ties back to the local community. But again, you want to tell the story and you can't rely on your employees to tell that story for you. So signage is going to be king when you are carrying handmade. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We have new videos that come out every single Friday to really help you hack the entire retail system. And you guys, at this point, I am posting almost every single day on shorts and there are some great tidbits of information on there. So don't forget to check out our shorts as well and we'll see you soon.